2012 Peace Corps rolled out the Innovation Challenge. Between October and December, volunteers across the world could issue problem statements that could be solved with technology. Essentially, in a nutshell, using technology to make the world a better place. Um, and we, Peace Corps volunteers, Peace Corps Zambia, partnered up with the Bongo Hive, a technology hub, to create a solution to a problem that we, as Peace Corps Zambia volunteers, came up with. Um, and the event was sponsored by Random Hacks of Kindness. So during that 48-hour period, uh, there was a collaboration between Peace Corps volunteers and programmers at the Bongo Hive um, in, in creating this, this app that we came out with, the ba Bantu Babel. And um, that's the idea we want to really promote uh, the culture of Zambia and the various cultures, and that's a lot of it's in the in language, as there are 72 different languages, but six or seven main ones in the, in the seven provinces. Um, the Bantu Babel, which is the app that we put together, um, along with Peace Corps and the Bongo Hive. And so if you look at survival phrases, we can go into, um, where we have seven here, Bemba, Kikeonde, Lunda, Mambwe, Nyanja, Tonga, Timbuka. So if you say Tonga, and then you ask for conversation, you would say, do you speak English? So we kind of copied a lot of the, the travel guides that are put out um, by Lonely Planet and whatnot, those survival phrases that they have in each section, and that's kind of what we decided to put together. The language translation is still really rudimentary, but it's getting there. The app is actually available right now at the Google Play Store. Um, so, yeah, Whereas, but for now, the app that we've been working on with the Bongo Hive is, is strictly for Android. Most major towns in Zambia actually have 3G. Um, granted, it might not be the traditional speeds of 3G, but it's pretty fast. Um, sometimes faster than the satellite internet we have here. Zambia, a lot of people only know Zambia for its Victoria Falls. Um, the, this was seven, you know, one of the seven wonders of the world, but as volunteers, we've, we've realized the value of what's available in the rest of the country, um, the size of Texas, it's, it's pretty large. And language and culture is kind of the big part. And a lot of the, the beauty of Zambia is the people. And to be able to communicate with them is sort of what we really wanted to tap into.